Hello, YouTubians. It's the Golden Rule. Um, I want to give you an update on my fasting. So, as you all know, I've been on the keto diet for, gosh, since uh, the beginning of July. I'm using a tool as of the last few days to track all my carbs, my net carbs, my fat, my protein, um, and my total carbohydrates. And it is so much better when you track it. Ladies and gentlemen, track what you eat. It will help you. The other thing I tried starting about 13 days ago was um, fasting, intermittent fasting. And so the first 10 days, what I did was I would fast for 16 hours and eat in an eight-hour window and uh, trying to keep it keto as well, which you know I'm, I'm learning as I go. And thank God for some of the Facebook groups and the YouTube to out the YouTubers out there who are helping me because I'm learning a lot fast, but I have a lot more to learn. So back on to the fasting. So um, on Sunday, I decided why don't I go for it to do the one meal a day thing uh, instead of the um, fasting the way I was doing it. So Sunday I uh, was my last meal, I think, and then um, I only I. Actually, I, I lied. I think it was two days ago. I'm a little fuzzy because I'm on hour, uh, what is it, 20, uh, I'm on hour 47 of fasting now. So I have moved from one meal a day to one meal every other day. So if I show you my app, you'll see what I've done this week. This app is so cool that I, I detailed yesterday. Um, but in my app, you can see um, this is my total... Uh, carbohydrates and I went over by a gram two days ago uh, because I categorized my um, beef stew as beef stew but it was actually just the beef so I actually came in under so so basically Sunday I had the one meal um, and that's it then Monday I had the one meal and then Tuesday I had the one meal Wednesday and now Thursday I haven't ate at all um, so um, if you look at my um, that's net carbs. Now let's look at my calories. You guys are going to be blown away when you see this. And my app is stuck. <laughs> okay, here's net carbs. So if you look at this, yesterday and today I've had under 50 carbs because I had like a couple teas and a couple um, coffees with nothing else in it. So, uh, and I'm surviving. I never thought I would, but it's because I did the seven days before of the intermittent fasting. So I was able to do one meal a day for two days, and then I've extended it to every other day. I probably will break my fast today. Um, we'll see. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I, well, I, don't, I won't show you, but I brought two Quest Bars with me. I brought two eggs with me, hard boiled. I bought brought two pieces of cheese. I brought a bunch of chicken uh, and some tuna. Um, so I'm hoping I'll make my fat and my protein goals without going over my carb goals when I break my fast, which is scheduled to occur um, between an hour and two hours from now. I'm actually at hour 46 now I look. I'm exactly 46 hours into a fast. And I tell you, I wasn't getting anywhere until yesterday. I got to a world record, my lowest weight in 10 years. I've so far gone from about 230 pounds in January to, I don't know, um, now this morning I was 189. And uh, I'm still hovering at about a um, 38 uh, stomach size down from a 44. Um, so uh, the the limited fasting and the keto diet is working for me. I'm not going to lie, it is hard. And my partner, she's not into it. <laughs> she's young and she's thin compared to me. Every day is young, but she's younger and she's thin. And so she likes eating rice and carbohydrates. And she likes having her three meals. I will say this. If she was on the keto diet lifestyle like I am now, and if she was on the, the fasting, it would be easier for me. So... Maybe some of you guys can give her some peer pressure and try and talk her into it just to just to help me. <laughs> I imagine she would be sneak eating that because she doesn't need to do it. But she does work out with me, so that's good. The other thing, so my workout yesterday was the best one I've had in a few days because I was having some aches and pains with the extended fasting. And 
I burst through it. As of last night, I was able to do 16 uh, 100 meter intervals with the last two at about 80% to 85% of sprint. So I'm um, not quite on my toes, but moving pretty fast for a 57 year old. I also did push ups and sit ups. I did not swim last night, just ran out of time. But today I plan to do my interval training and my swimming. And I'm looking forward to the hotel opening up the gym again. It might be opening as early as today or tomorrow, I heard. So we'll see. Um, so once I can go to the gym, I haven't done any resistance training in five or six months. And um, at my age, they say you really need to. So anyway, that's my um, keto slash one meal a day slash one meal every other day um, um, update for you today. And who knows, maybe I'll be able to go a little longer. I mean, I, I'm, I'm white knuckling it right now to make it literally to the um, 1230 eat time. Um, but you know what? If I'm still okay with water, I might try to extend it and go with my partner and break the fast at the Outback tonight. Wouldn't that be cool? Instead, we'll see. I don't know if I can make it. Um, and I would not ever recommend what I'm doing to anybody else because I'm white knuckling it because this is shock therapy. As, as many of you who know me already know, for the last 50 years I've had diet Cokes, I've done everything wrong. I've done all that low fat processed stuff. I've never had a good diet. I was always a gym rat until um, some health issues hit me up in 2006. I try to get back in the gym, but, but since 2006, I've been a, a physical wreck. And I'm feeling mental clarity now. I'm feeling so much better mentally right now. I'm able to get things done faster at work. I, I am a little irritable because I'm hungry, but I'm also able to be more measured and thoughtful, I think. So, so I'm really happy. And, uh, and um, I hope that all the recommendations for finding keto and Qatar keep coming my way and more recommendations on how to fast without um, um, having difficulties um, keep coming my way. So please comment, subscribe to my YouTube, and please give me any recommendations both in Facebook and in YouTube on ways I can find keto meals in Qatar and ways I can um, uh, get back in, in shape again and have a, a better um, quality of life. Thank you, everybody. And again, like and subscribe, please.